guys. So today's video is going to be another empties video. My basket here is full and I usually take that as my cue that it's time to do another empties video. If it seems a little darker than my usual setup, it's only 1 p.m. but it is extremely gloomy outside and I looked at the weather forecast earlier this morning and it's supposed to rain for like the next week. So there's that. I want you guys to tell me what you think of my lashes. I'm wearing the Glamnetic lashes. They're in the style of vacay. This eye looks funny to me. Why is it? It looks like it's like separated. But these are magnetic lashes. So the liner I have on is magnetic and then the lashes have little magnets on them and they're just <clears throat> and I don't know on camera they look incredible. <laughs> I look so glam but I don't know in person they just look different. I don't look like that in person. What's going on? Anyway so I think those are all my disclaimers. It might be dark also, I'm not sure I've ever heard so many sirens in my entire life. I wonder if I should lock the doors. I haven't seen any emergency vehicles, but there's like siren after siren after siren after siren. So if you hear that, I apologize. I think those are all my disclaimers. Let's go ahead and get into my empties. Here we go. I will start with nails. I went through two bottles of acetone. I use typically this brand. I find this brand a lot at TJ Maxx, so I will stock up on it when I go there. This one's Studio M Pro and this one's Onyx Professional. I will just use pretty much anything that's 100% acetone to soak off my nails when it's time for a new set. So I went through two of those. And then I didn't, oh my God, this is embarrassing. I didn't entirely go through it because I didn't take care of it very well, but this is the adhesive for the tips for my nails. It's hard to explain, but it's basically like a soft gel. It's called Extend Gel by Apre Nails. And this is what you use. You have to cure it under a light. I've done a few videos doing my nails, so I will link those in the cards. That way you can kind of see it in action. But there is actually a significant amount left, which is completely hardened and unusable. I don't know if it's because I had this sitting too close to my lamp while doing my nails or because I didn't really put the lid back on completely tight and look it's like all over the side. Hardened and really gross. So needless to say I replaced this with a new one and I kept it comes with like a, a white stopper plate thing that you put on before you put on the lid and I kept that on my new jar. So hopefully I'm actually able to use all of my current jar before I have to repurchase another one. Another one? Even without using all of it, this lasted me. I just use it to do my own nails and this lasted me over a year at least. Maybe closer to a year and a half, but at least a year. Let's talk about makeup. I went through two mascaras. These are by Essence, the False Lash Effect Mascara, the regular and the waterproof. I went through these. I do really, really love these. I would totally repurchase them. They're super cheap. They're like $3.50. Lately, I have been using the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is the carbon black one. I can't believe I slept on this for so long. I love long lengthening mascaras. This is that. This one is so good and I will absolutely repurchase this one. It's more expensive than these but in my opinion it's totally worth it. I have decently long lashes to begin with and I get them lifted and tinted and then with this on there it's like <clears throat> exactly like that. But those essence ones are good too especially if you're looking to spend less than ten dollars. Those are really good too. I need to relax my eyes. My lashes are making me feel like I need to like and that's uh, terrifying. So Also sort of makeup, sort of skin. This is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion, non-greasy. I cut off the actual name of it. That's one thing about this packaging is that it's actually really hard to get all of it out. I have to cut open the package and then I use like a wax stick, like a popsicle stick to scoop it out. And I do actually have quite a bit left. I scoop it all out of the packaging and then I have this little mini container that I will fill up. But this is my favorite tinted sunscreen. It's completely possible to use enough to actually get the SPF 50 that it advertises. Lately, like right now, I am wearing the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And you can't use enough of this to get the advertised SPF. I use the two finger rule. I cover two fingers in my sunscreen. That's how you get the advertised SPF that's on the bottle. So lately I've been using this. You can use more than two fingers of this and it blends so beautifully. I get this on Yes Style. So lately I've been using a lot of this and just a little bit of this for some coverage, but this one that I used up is also incredible. I do use plenty of this to get my SPF 
but it doesn't have nearly as much coverage as the A Cosmetics one. So I love them both. This one makes me stay pretty dewy throughout the day. This one is more matte. I'm pretty oily, so I still get dewy throughout the day, but not nearly as much as when I just wear the It Cosmetics one, if that makes sense. I went through this e.l.f. Lash Brow Clear Mascara, whatever. It gets really gross just because of when I use it in my sort of routine. But I don't use this on my lashes. I just use it on my brows. I like a clear brow gel. For a day today, today I do have a, an e.l.f. tinted one on because of the lashes. I felt like I needed a little bit more. And then I pretty much went through this e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer satin finish. This is the shade light sand. This is also what I have under my eyes at the moment, but in the color fair warm. I love, love this concealer. The original Camo concealer is also really good, but I do prefer the hydrating one. The original is a little bit more similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, but this is just both of them. The hydrating and the original are incredible coverage and they blend beautifully and they're super creamy. The original one just ends up drying a little bit more matte than the hydrating one, but I really, really love the hydrating one specifically. Amazing coverage. I used it to cover up this little pimple right there. Still kind of shining through just a little bit, but it's incredible coverage for like six bucks. And I feel like they do have a really decent shade range for a drugstore. Drugstore stepping it up and it better. That's another thing about this is that it comes in like three shades. This one doesn't even have a shade on it, but assuming they didn't like do away with the shades entirely, which would be super dumb going in the complete opposite direction of where they need to be going. This one only comes in like three shades. This concealer comes in a pretty good shade range, which is another thing that I should mention about the It Cosmetics CC Cream is that this used to only come in five shades. And when I went to go repurchase this, there was like lots of shades. Lots meaning like 12 ish, which is better than five. Not as good as it should be in my opinion. All right, so let's keep talking about skin. A couple of acne products. I went through a Pinoxyl acne foaming wash. I really have been slowing down on using this because I've been stepping up on using a Dapoline. So I typically just use the hydrating cream to foam cleanser by CeraVe. This is another empty. This is the primary cleanser that I use. It's so comfortable on the skin. It foams up just enough to feel like you're getting a good clean, but it's not drying in any way. But every once in a while, I will use an acne foaming wash with benzoyl peroxide in it, specifically if I have like active breakouts, which haven't been happening nearly as much as they used to pre-Accutane, but I have had a couple of active breakouts, a couple of of active spots that need extracting, which is super annoying, but still far cry from where I was pre-Accutane, so I'm trying to keep it calm. But to maintain kind of where I'm at with my skin, I have been using a lot of Adapalene. This one is by the brand AF, I guess. Dermatology Inspired Care. I don't know, I found it at Walmart, but Adapalene is a great ingredient for those with acne. Another brand name is Differin. I'm using the brand name Differin at the moment, but it's the strongest acne medication that you can get over the counter. So you do need to be careful with it. If you have dry skin or easily irritated skin, you should definitely be very careful with it. But where I'm at with my skin, I have a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation to work on, a little bit of pitting, a little bit of scarring, but mainly just those post-acne marks. And like I mentioned earlier, a couple little active breakouts here and there. So I use this most nights and I do start to notice if I'm using it a little bit too much. You don't want to use too many actives all at once in general and you don't want to use too many actives too often. So what I'm trying to say is I highly recommend Adapalene. It's great for acne as long as your skin tolerates it. Kim and I went through a Dove Renewing Nourishing body wash. This is the peony and rose oil. This one's fine. I usually get the fragrance free one, but I don't know. I wanted a little something this time. I don't know. This one was fine. It's a little girly for Cameron. So sorry, babe, but it does smell good. And I do enjoy these Dove body washes because they come in a pretty decent size container and with a pump because your girl is lazy. All right, let's talk about hair. Pretty sure I went through more than just one of these Batiste dry shampoos. I like the clean and light the bear. I think that's just the scent, but I do use a lot of dry shampoo. I cut my hair a couple weeks ago and I've been washing it a lot more frequently because it's harder to put it in like a big fat messy bun when it's super short. So my favorite way to use dry shampoo is to apply it before I go to bed at night. Cameron always makes fun of me because he comes to bed and I have like white hair, but that really helps to kind of soak up all the oils. And then when I wake up in the morning, it's like all fresh. So I went through 
many of these. I don't think just the one. I went through a couple of shampoos, a Neutrogena tea cell. This is the scalp buildup control. I like to use this maybe like every other wash and then the smooth again wash from Kevin Murphy. I've been making my way through the different washes by Kevin Murphy, trying to find my favorite one. This one says smoothing shampoo for thick coarse hair. I do not have thick or coarse hair, but it does stay pretty, not frizzy. I just, I have like a lot of flyaways as I'm sure you can tell. So that's kind of where I was going with this specific one. And it's good. I liked it. Right now I'm using the Maxi Wash, which is more of like the super cleansing shampoo by Kevin Murphy. So those are the shampoos we went through. I went through the Kevin Murphy Untangled leave-in conditioner. This one is really good. It smells really good. I really do enjoy it. But 7 Seconds by Unite, the 7 Seconds leave-in conditioner detangler thingy is better. I have repurchased that many times over and it's my favorite one. I use it after every wash. So I do like this. I got this in a set with the shampoo and conditioner actually when I first started working at the salon I'm at. So that was like almost two years ago and I finally went through this. But I've gone through several 7 Seconds. Those are better. I like it better. But that one's nice too. It smells good. And I went through a Kevin Murphy Do Over Dry Powder Finishing Hairspray. I really do love this one. I think it's super underrated. The packaging is beautiful. I love it with my whole heart. I've been using the bedroom hair lately. It's like this, but in like a baby blue. And I also really like that one. I feel like this one gives you more grip and thickness and texture. Whereas the bedroom hair is a little bit more flex and effortless still hold but not quite rough and texturizing. Does this make any sense whatsoever? It makes perfect sense in my head. I don't know. Hopefully you get what I mean. I like them both. This one is supposed to be better for like third day hair, fourth day hair, and it's definitely more dry texturizing because the bedroom hair is also texturizing but this one is more like dry texture. It's supposed to be like a hairspray and dry shampoo kind of and I do really enjoy it. I would totally repurchase both of them and I have. I went through one of my perfumes. Oh, I guess not all the way. Ooh, that doesn't smell right. This is one of my favorite scents of all time. I would say this might be like my signature scent. I love it. It smells like all sugary, vanilla-y. It's my favorite scent and I usually can find it at TJ Maxx, which is really nice because it's a little bit less expensive. I wouldn't say it lasts all day long though. I've never really found a perfume that like lasts on me all day long. Maybe I'm just a generally smelly person, I don't know. Then I went through a couple of essential oils. However, I had three diffusers in my life. I had one here in my office, I had one in my bedroom, and I had one in my treatment room. And the one that was in my treatment room at work was pretty brand spanking new. And I kid you not, within like two or three days, all three of them broke. I think that maybe I ended up getting some water in like that little air filter part that you're not supposed to get water in, which I feel like should be marked a little bit more dramatically for people like me. I don't know what the heck happened, but none of them worked. They all broke at the same time. Obviously that happened after I went through these essential oils. I went through a bergamot. I go through these mainstay ones by Walmart. I go through these really fast. They're bigger, but they're nowhere near as potent. So I go through them pretty quickly. A jasmine. This one came in a set from TJ Maxx. I think this is the one that I was diffusing when Cameron would come home and say, why does it smell like an old lady in here? I think it smells good. He can kiss my butt. And then this Yankee Candle diffuser blend called Home Sweet Home. It's got cinnamon. Cinnamaldehyde, citral, those are all the words that I know on the ingredient list. Ooh, now I know why I like this one. I love cinnamon. So yeah, those are all cool. I like those except I don't have any working diffusers and I'm nervous to buy another one because I don't want to break another one. They're not all that cheap. Even the ones at Walmart are like $30. The diffuser in my life that lasted the longest and that worked the best, I actually found at Goodwill. They were all brand new. They had like 20 brand new diffusers at Goodwill for $6. They were not the prettiest. My mom got one. Hers still works beautifully, but that one lasted the longest, but alas, they all busted like at the same time. One last thing, I get the hype. I decided to try the liquid IV when I was feeling sick several months ago and then Cameron actually ended up getting COVID. So that's when I decided to try these. I first tried the lemon lime flavor and it's not my favorite. I don't 
like mixing it at the ratio that they tell you to. I like much more water than they tell you to use. They say one stick to 16 ounces of water. I will do my 32 ounce water bottle. I'll also use it in my little, I think it's like 20 ounces, 24 ounces maybe, but I like more water than I guess most people. But this is basically supposed to help you to drink your water. It's supposed to be more hydrating. There's electrolytes, there's vitamins, and it's vegan and gluten-free and all that good stuff. But this is super helpful and primarily it just gets me to drink more water. I'm much more likely to drink this if I have it sitting there compared to just a glass of water. I have a bunch of sticks in my purse. I have a bunch of sticks in my treatment room. So when I run out of my coffee, I can hydrate up. So these are really good. They're kind of pricey, but I really do like these. And it's more convenient than buying like a bunch of vitamin waters or a bunch of Gatorades. It's kind of nice to have just the little sticks and then you can just get water out of the tap or easier to store. I just prefer these. So that's everything for my empties. One more. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a Coke Zero. So that's everything for my empties this round. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I hope my lashes weren't too distracting for you because they were very distracting for me. Ooh, I don't know if I don't like the liner. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about all the dry shampoo in my hair. But the lash like takes off the liner with it. I don't know if the liner just like never fully dries. Ooh.